We like to bring you the hottest trends when it comes to dating, especially if you're single, because we don't encourage you to be dating if you're married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I probably shouldn't. It's not the best. But uh, if you find yourself single and you're wondering, what do I do to meet somebody? You don't. The latest trend is master dating. Mm, Interesting. Sounds very much like. Instead of the other, yes, Mm -hmm. when you're lonely. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Similar in a way. Is it? You're really mm. focusing on yourself. Oh. <laughs> mm. Really focusing on dating yourself. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then the D changed to a B. B. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. End of your Part night. of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you hook up last night with yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't kiss and tell normally, but <laughs> yes, the best I one did. I stand I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Bought myself dinner and then went to town. Wow. Yeah. So master dating is the hottest new dating trend, and it is exactly what it sounds like. You're taking yourself on lavish dates, and it's all a part of practicing self-care mm-hmm. and self-pleasure. Mm, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you got to have a fat wallet because it's not just like I went to Burger King. Like yep. you're taking yourself out to fine dining restaurants by yourself. Uh, yep, you're going on some That's vacations if you want. Why? Just sitting there by yourself at a fine dining restaurant, and all, all around <laughs> you is going to be. I'm with Jason. That's a little on this bit one. different, though, Katie. Why? I'm with if Jason. You're, on if this you're, one. It's a Friday and Saturday night, and it's couple, 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 family, 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 and you're just sitting there with a candlelight by yourself. Master dating. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's the hottest new dating trend, and it's a trend because people are doing it. But how do they call it dating? You're dating with another person. You're just dating yourself. Yeah. You're getting to know yourself is the whole I think that's important. Yes. I don't really want to know. Would you do that? Yeah, I did it for years. Well, that wasn't by choice, but. (laughs) It was. Because I didn't want to just settle for anybody. But you would never go to a fine dining restaurant on a Friday night with every other couple. Do you know who you're talking to? On a Friday night or Saturday night? Do you remember the time I went and spent $100 on myself for dinner by myself sitting at the bar? But you were married. You were at the bar. I was married, but I went by myself. That's different. (laughs) way different. (laughs) You you were having emotional problems then. (laughs) (laughs) It was a snow day. Because when you're married, you like to have time by yourself. I yeah. do, but even when I was single, I would go out and do stuff by myself. No, you, yeah, you live by yourself. Yes. Stuff, but it's going to be odd to be master dating in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people get arrested for that. Yeah, there could be kids there <laughs> when you're master dating. 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 I don't dating. Know. It's just taking yourself out on a date, and it is an exercise in self-love and self-compassion. Uh, the therapist who is encouraging it, it's a holistic approach, by the way. Mm. But well, uh, you're that teaching... means it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you're teaching yourself about your own needs, your own requirements, the things that bring you joy. And I think that people don't do that enough. They no, look I, for joy in others. They do. Mm-hmm. And I think, and I uh, would say that I've been a, one of my pet peeves is saying, so like, you don't make me happy. Like, it's not when, up to me. I think in a dating or relationship thing, I want someone that can add to my happiness. Mm-hmm. But if you look at someone to make you happy, you're going to be, it, they're people. They're not, there's going to be a time where you don't feel happy and you're going to think something's wrong. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you can mm-hmm. imagine well. trying to keep that up. All it's the impossible. Time. You it's can't. Impossible. Have you been master dating lately, um, Jared? You I seem happy. I think happier. he should. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been master dating. I've been encouraging oh. him to master date. I'm very old school. I've been going on dates with a, a, a real person. Oh, okay. is it because? Let me ask you a tough question here. Is yeah, it can. because you don't want or like to spend time by yourself? Um, I love myself. Mm-hmm. We know more than you should. That wasn't the question. More, more, more than I said. <laughs> more than, more than should. I should. Mm-hmm. I, that's a good question. I would say, you know, I got married at twenty, almost twenty-five. Yep. Was married for ten years. Uh, got divorced, then got married a year, basically a little bit over a year later. Mm-hmm. Was married for seven years. Mm-hmm. Got, but then when I, everything happened this last time, it's been nineteen, twenty months. I went on like a bunch of dates, mm-hmm. you know, and was just like, it was fine just going on dates. And I didn't feel like I had a force of wanting to be with someone. And then a couple months ago, I met someone and then we've been mm-hmm. da- we just exclusively dating. But oh. when you were. But, it, but I wasn't. And you can even ask her. Yeah. When we first started going out, I was like, don't want a relationship. And she was like, well, what am I even doing? Mm-hmm. I, but I was like, I don't want a relationship, mm-hmm. and, you know, which is everyone wants to hear that. Well, <laughs> yeah. I think that every woman would be like, we get it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, we, yeah she we was understand. understanding. Yeah. And then like we now we're, we've we been exclusively dating for uh, a couple months. And mm-hmm. so and we have a bet going on. We do that. You'll be married at oh, the yeah. end a of third next time. week. <laughs> 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 it's just so how I, he does. I had about a year and a half where I wasn't. In a relationship at all. Yeah. I'd go out with my friends, me and Squid, two young dudes just chilling, you know, <laughs> yeah. tubing and whatnot. In our prime. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel forced ever? Like, <laughs> no, not at all. No, never? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> You're no, like, not in all. case, I'd rather <laughs> master date. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get hair on your palms for master dating? <laughs> <laughs> you can look if you want. <laughs> no, yeah. so, but th- that's a good question. So, I... I think a year and a half is the longest as an adult I've not been in a relationship. And I still don't think that's long enough. 
I mean, okay. no offense, mm-hmm. but yeah. I think it's, I mean, most people are doing the dating and figuring out who they want to see and, mm-hmm. and especially coming off of two marriages, you know? Right. No, I trust think, me. I don't want to get married yeah, again. Yeah. I think that it's like, well, I'm on the board of people who approve whether you get married and or not. And no one will get approved. Mm-hmm. No that it's impossible. That's a joke. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 ultimately I just do what I want. Look where he's at now. <laughs> it's not a thing. Exactly. I think you do need some time. Carol mentioned to me once before my wife that if we uh, ever separated, she thinks that I would get a girl right away. Of course and I you like, would. Because you would. I wouldn't. I would get a smoke <laughs> Exactly. Because you cannot live alone. No, I can't. I don't, and Jason, I don't want your marriage to dissolve and uh you've beaten the odds many times and so but if you were single if you me and squid were single at the same time i think the world would end well yep. it, would help. <laughs> it, would, it would help my odds <laughs> you might be surprised and you would help mine yeah <laughs> financially we could afford it no, he he jason hurts everybody <laughs> else's odds yeah, he wouldn't help your odds oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah i don't know It'd we be, call him a dong blocker the yeah. dong blocker yeah. Right. yeah it comes naturally to him yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, and by I, the way, I, Garrett, yeah. for the record, I don't if I'm married and with somebody or dating somebody and that's when I feel the most confident of going out by myself and I don't mind at all. Yeah. I think you feel the least confident doing it is when you're not with somebody, which Katie is suggesting suggesting you do by master dating. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, and lots of people are doing it. It probably helps if you live in a big city because I feel like you're more anonymous. You know what I mean? If you're Oh, oh yeah. if, if I would let's say I wasn't dating anybody and if mm-hmm. I was just out at Roos Chris yeah. Or 16, 18 by myself. Y'all would probably get emails like, I saw Jared out fine dining by himself. What a loser. You know yeah. that. Well, my first thought would be, how do you afford well, each yeah. piece of vegetable? Because <laughs> each <laughs> piece of asparagus is 10 bucks. Yeah. Right. At Ruth's Chris, yeah. yeah. But I, it, it's important. And it doesn't have to also just be fine dining. It could be, what else do they suggest? They say, um, Trips. Trips, yes. And then also, like, I think maybe this is more mm. female. Although more and more men I'm seeing when I go and get massages or I see a lot of men in there scheduling manis and petties, more massages, that type of thing. That even, I mean, that's a big step in self-care. It's taking time mm-hmm. for yourself, which is the whole point of this. So what if it's like taking a hike in the... Oh, my. This is getting worse. Okay, I'm just throwing <laughs> that out there. What's something? Go into the movies by yourself. Okay. Make a day of it. Yeah. Instead of treating somebody else and relying on somebody else to fill your time you just do the things yeah. you like to do and enjoy it when you do fun things though it's it's awfully sad if you're like on a vacation in new york and, you, and you're seeing something cool and you turn and you're like do you, oh wait i'm no by way. myself you take pictures and journal and ah. stuff mm. journal yes you, you write in a diary I do, now I'm not yeah, journal do. about my vacation why Have not you, yeah, do you journal i put i write down things all you, the time do you journal about I your vacation like you know i can't do anything consistently <laughs> Do you still? Yeah, no, do you? I, I haven't been. I, I, I try to yeah. for a while. Oh. You can take notes in your phone or you um, like your this pictures. This sounds tell? so depressing. You don't have to worry about sounds... anybody else's schedule. Yeah, you're on your own time. Yeah, yeah. Jared, see, this is the depressing. whole world you're missing out on here. Oh god, it's your opportunity. Don't blow it. <laughs> okay. You know what else is depressing? Not drinking alcohol. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> I like you that. do stuff. You like to share it, even if it's like a, like if me and Squid did something you together. Can. You can call your family. You call, you call oh, Squid people love when you call them and you tell them about the vacation they're not on. They well, love that. They, they would if they loved you. They will. They'll take your call, but they don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love when someone tells you all about their vacation? My sisters, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. I like to hear we're about all different. it. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right. We're all master. And that's okay. And that's okay. <laughs> Inside joke. I love it.